subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Creating an ETSE API Python example involves interacting with the ETSE API to retrieve data such as shop information, listings, or orders. In this tutorial, We'll use the requests library to make HTTP requests to the ETSE API. ETSE API key, obtain your ETSE API key by creating an ETSE app. You can do this by visiting the ETSE developer portal and creating a new app. Python environment, make sure you have Python installed on your machine. Requests library. Install the requests library if you haven't already by running pip install requests in your terminal. Before we proceed, it's essential to familiarize yourself with the ETSE API documentation to understand the available endpoints and data structures. Once you have your ETSE API key, store it in a secure manner. For this tutorial, you can set it as an environment variable. Let's create a simple Python script to make a request to the ETSE API and retrieve shop information. This script defines a function get underscore shop underscore info that takes a shop name as a parameter and retrieves information about that shop using the ETSE API. Save the script to a file, example ETSE underscore API underscore example dot py and run it in your terminal. Creating a tutorial for interacting with the ETSE API using Python involves several steps. Before you begin, make sure you have an ETSE developer account and have created an API key. The API key is crucial for authentication when making requests to the ETSE API. Firstly, you need to install the requests library, which will be used to make HTTP requests to the ETSE API. You can install it using pip. Go to the ETSE developer portal, https colon slash slash www.etse.com slash developers, and create an account if you don't have one. Create a new app and get your API key. Create a new Python script, example ETSE underscore API underscore example dot py and import the necessary libraries. Add your ETSE API key and the base URL for ETSE API as constants. Now, let's make a simple request to get information about a specific ETSE shop. Replace your underscore shop underscore ID underscore here with the actual shop ID you want to retrieve information for. This is a basic example, and you can explore other endpoints and parameters based on the ETSE API documentation. Save your script and run it using. You should see the information about the specified ETSE shop printed to the console. This tutorial provides a foundation for interacting with the ETSE API using Python. You can extend it to perform other operations and explore additional endpoints based on your application's requirements. Chat GPT Creating a tutorial for the ETSE API using Python involves several steps. The ETSE API allows developers to access and interact with ETSE's marketplace data. In this tutorial, we'll cover the process of setting up an ETSE API key, making requests using the requests library in Python, and parsing the JSON responses. Prerequisites Step 1 Obtain ETSE API key. Step 2. Install required libraries. Open your terminal or command prompt and install the requests.